I'm Marissa, owner and clinical therapist of Time Out Beauty, and I'm here today at Synergy Head Office in Melbourne with Terry Vinson, who is the founder and formulator of Synergy Skin and Minerals. Hi Marissa and welcome to Synergy. It's great to have you here Thanks. and I'm really excited to be able to answer some questions for your wonderful clients and help sort of demystify the cosmeceutical myths and, and, uh, and answer some of your questions. Well, Synergy is one of our best-selling products at Time Out Beauty. And um, we do have some frequently asked questions, which I'd love to ask you today, Terry. Not a problem. Now, Terry, your philosophy is clean science. Can you explain a bit more about that, please? I'm really proud to have the clean science philosophy. And it's quite a unique approach to cosmeceutical skincare. It's not organic nor is it entirely natural. And in my opinion, it's often as important what I don't put into a product as what I do, and I've said this a number of times. So what my philosophy is in clean science is taking the best of laboratory science and in terms of the clinical data in vivo and in vitro and combining that with the best of nature. Because some natural things, for example, arsenic can be toxic. Mm. Um, and obviously some chemicals can be harmful. Um, and I don't formulate with artificial fragrance, artificial colour, dimethicone, propylene glycol. I've got a number of things in what I call my hit list. But by the same token, there are some laboratory made peptides that I think are amazing. And most of them are in my super serum. So clean science is encapsulating the best of science and the best of nature and harnessing them in synergy, really. There's so many dermal rollers on the market, mm, yeah. but my clients love your um, Rejuvederm roller. What makes that one so special? It took a long time to find the Rejuvederm home roller, Marissa, and the reason I love it is that it actually has polymer needles, not the metal needles. So it actually is the most comfortable home roller to use, and I use it every day. And they did studies with L ascorbic acid and discovered that you get 40 times the penetration of L ascorbic using the home roller properly compared to just massaging into the skin alone. So you get the comfort and you get the penetration. And the other thing is because it's a polymer, the little needles are polymers, unlike the metal rollers, if you accidentally drop it, they just spring back into shape and you don't have to throw it away, which is an absolute bonus as well. And is it gentle enough to use around the eye area? Yes, actually, that's an excellent question too because I actually take the home roller right in to the orbital rim. Actually, can take it over the eyelids because it only penetrates it, um, the stratum corneum 0.25 millimetres and also right across the vermilion border of the lips so that helps to combat those vertical lines that appear as we age. It's excellent for that. So would you apply the serums first and then the roller or the other way around? There was a lot of um, uh, sort of school of thought originally saying that you, um, you apply the serums and then you roll. And now they've discovered that the holes are opened uh, in the stratum corneum for longer than was originally thought. So what I do is I roll first, the holes are open, and then I apply my serums over the top. It really doesn't matter, but if you actually do the serums and then roll, you may find that the roller gets a little bit soiled and you'll have to clean it a lot more often.